Some unfairness cannot be explained. Unfairness comes from living with bodies that are imperfect, injured, or diseased. Some people are born in affluence, others are not. Some have loving parents, others do not. Some live many years, others few. My heart aches for those who face such unfairness. But I declare with all my aching heart that Jesus Christ both understands unfairness and has the power to provide a remedy. Nothing compares to the unfairness he endured. It wasn't fair that he experienced all the pains and afflictions of mankind. It wasn't fair that he suffered for my sins and mistakes and for yours. But he chose to do so because of his love for us and for Heavenly Father. He understands perfectly what we're experiencing. Because Jesus Christ endured the infinite atoning sacrifice, he empathizes perfectly with us. He's always aware of us and our circumstances. In the eternities, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ will resolve all unfairness. In unfair situations, one of our tasks is to trust that all that is unfair about life can be made right through the atonement of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ overcame the world and absorbed all unfairness. Because of Him, we can have peace in this world and be of good cheer. If we let Him, Jesus Christ will consecrate the unfairness for our gain. He will not just console us and restore what was lost. He'll use the unfairness for our benefit. I testify that the Savior lives. He understands unfairness. The marks in the palms of His hands continually remind Him of you and your circumstances. He ministers to you in all your distress. For those who come to Him, joy and gladness will replace grief and sorrow. All unfairness will be consecrated for your gain. I so testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.